Continuing our in-depth look at Juneteenth, um, upcoming events include the open mic, but most of all, the uh, cultural festival, which is going to run Saturday and Sunday, June 17th mm -hmm. and 18th. What's Absolutely. going to be happening on that day? Uh, it should be two days of fun. Um, we kick off the 17th with our youth uh, day in regards to just focusing on our youth and pouring into our future generation, letting them know that, um, you know, Juneteenth is a holiday where we kind of, you know, come together as celebrating pride and history and of those natures. So we'll have tons of activity. Uh, Harambe Youngstown will be our featured performance. Um, so we're looking to, you know, also patronize our, our black owned uh, businesses and other businesses through food trucks, through, um, you know, baked goods, through jewelry, the whole nine. So um, and continuing on to Sunday, June 18th, we'll have uh, our first ever soul food cook off, um, a car show. Um, and we're in that evening with um, a performance and selection from um, several bands uh, curated by uh, Mr. Jeff Green of Jazz in the Park. Sure. So um, it should be a, a, a plethora of different events for both seasoned and young to come and um, definitely, you know, explore and have a good time. You bring your own chairs for the event at Wing Park? So I know people love the chairs, so we'll definitely have chairs there. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll, we'll definitely have chairs there, but I know you, if you want to bring your chair, bring it. <laughs> it's an opportunity, again, to socialize. Mm -hmm. And I know many that have attended this in the past has always talked, what a way to end the celebration for Juneteenth. Yes, yes. Challenges for funding in the future. Um, I, I would say, you know, we're, we're, we're right on track where we want to be as far as increasing the awareness of the holiday. Um, being um, a leader in our community <coughs> as far as getting the word out. Um, but I see us scaling and, and putting more emphasis on um, bringing people together. I think that's the main outlook that this is a celebration for everybody. Um, in regards to education and entertainment, it can be uh, no, uh, it could be more than we could ever expect. What an opportunity to break down barriers where mm -hmm. you get to know your neighbor mm -hmm. and get to know what Youngstown is really all about. Indeed. To, uh, rise above, you know, we hear the bad news, sad news, and the worst news, but here's an opportunity for good news to be spread. Indeed. I want to thank Cheers for the hard work you put into thank you. getting this event together. I want to thank you for joining us. And again, I'm Dee Crawford, Community Affairs Director, WKBN. Hi, everyone. I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.